Hyundai have, or Hyundai, have been mass-producing electric cars for a while now. Not too much success, to be honest, but they're saying, no, 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 wait up, hold on a minute. Hydrogen-powered electric cars are probably going to be the future, and they plan on making hydrogen for those vehicles with human waste, as in poo, plastic, and other rubbish. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. None of this is hyperbole. It's literally what Hyundai plan on doing. They say they'll turn poo, plastic waste, and, well, all kinds of waste into hydrogen. At CES, Hyundai said they will announce several developments, including the introduction of a new infotainment system with an integrated app store, but no one was really all that interested in that. They were a bit puzzled about what Hyundai has been saying about its hydrogen. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Hydrogen-powered vehicles have been around now for quite a number of years. In fact, car manufacturers have been working on them for a long time. Hyundai is saying, no, 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 no. Just because people aren't buying them today doesn't mean they won't tomorrow. They say that the fuel will play a crucial role in the company's sustainability roadmap as it is a clean energy source. The company envisions it to power not only trucks, buses, and passenger cars, but aircraft, seagoing vessels, power generators and trams. Basically, everything's going to be powered by hydrogen, according to Hyundai. So that's why they can justify investing billions of dollars into this technology. And that's why Hyundai is saying that instead of doing things like um, manufacturing cathodes or uh, refining lithium, they are going to transition into a hydrogen value chain business brand. The company announced that they're developing a megawatt scale polymer electrolyte membrane electrolyzer manufacturing capabilities for green hydrogen production, which is expected to commercialize within the next few years. Now, here's the thing. Today, 90% of the world's hydrogen is not green. In fact, more than 90%. I think it's closer to 95%. It's not green. It's manufactured by doing things like burning gas, turning gas into hydrogen or some sort of fossil fuels into hydrogen. So less than 10% of hydrogen in use worldwide today is manufactured from renewable energy. In other words, most hydrogen is certainly not zero emissions, certainly not clean. Hyundai could be right. It could be in the future though, but just not yet. Speaking of hydrogen production though, the company are focused on two approaches known as waste to hydrogen and plastic to hydrogen. The latter involves the fermentation of organic waste, such as food and manure, to produce biogas, which is then treated to capture carbon dioxide and produce hydrogen. The plastic to hydrogen process is totally different and sees waste plastics that cannot be recycled, melted, gasified, and then transformed into hydrogen by removing unnecessary elements. To me, that sounds, sounds quite expensive. It doesn't sound like that would be a very efficient process. I can't really see that taking off, but I could be wrong. Unfortunately, Hyundai's goals for carbon neutrality are pretty weak. They say that they don't aim to hit carbon neutrality until 2050, so 26 years from now. The automaker is among a small group of companies embracing hydrogen fuel cell technology, including General Motors, Toyota, and Honda. Now, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Is a hydrogen powered car something you would consider? Do you think that, say, by 2030, when hydrogen cars might be cheaper than they are today, they're quite expensive today, would you prefer one of those instead of an electric car with um, a similar price to a gasoline or cheaper than a gasoline powered car with, say, a thousand kilometers or 600 miles of range? That's what we're going to see. They're going to be relatively very affordable by 2030. We're talking six years from now. But would you instead want to buy a hydrogen powered car? if you thought it was being powered by renewable energy. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.